We know how custom ROMs are changing the world of Android. It gives them more power to end users so that they can customize according to their taste. A custom ROM gives a full-fledged stock Android experience which contains minimal bugs and lesser bloatware. The ROM, which stands for read-only memory, which is a non-volatile memory, it contains all of the core components that control the whole system. One of the biggest components of the custom ROM is the kernel, which is the heart of the ROM or operating system that governors all of the low-level functionalities like CPU, GPU, battery, and more. But the custom ROM developers use the default generic kernel sources, which is underclocked to normal so that it won't drain the much battery life. A kernel is a critical component of the operating system, which controls whole hardware. Nonetheless, a default kernel comes with any ROM is not as so powerful. It won't let you overclock your CPU or GPU to achieve a peak performance. This is where custom kernels come to the picture and that lets you customize the underlying system and get the most out of the silicon. This is called No Gravity Kernel, a custom kernel made by Mavericks from XDA for Pocophone F1 that increased the performance on your Poco F1 to the pinnacle and lets you experience the things that you never had. No Gravity Kernel lets you overclock your Pocophone F1 to a maximum of up to 3GHz by maintaining the same battery life. Now before talking about the features of this custom kernel, I would like to defenestrate a myth about custom kernels. A custom kernel will never damage your phone, it lets you overclock your CPU or GPU to achieve the peak performance whenever you require. At the same time, underclocking lets you give a stunning battery life. Unless if you know what you're doing, custom kernels are safe to use. Hey what's up guys, my name is KSK Ryle. In this video, I will introduce to you a custom kernel named No Gravity Kernel for your Pocophone F1 and stick around with me till to the end without missing any parts of the video. Let's get started. Now let's get into the installation parts of the video. This is very simple. According to the developer of this kernel, you can flash it on any custom ROM based on Android 9 or Android 10. So for the sake of this video, I will be using a Pixel ROM based on Android 10 now go ahead and download the two files from the links in the description box down below and copy it to the internal storage of Poco F1 and then boot your system into TWRP recovery mode. When you are inside TWRP recovery mode, choose the option called wipe, then choose a Delvic and cache. Now once it's done, now choose a mount option and make sure you have ticked the system partition, then select install zip option and select the custom kernel along with a Majisca zip files and flash it. The process will be same for any custom kernel. So using the same process, you can almost install any custom kernel like a Franco, a Sash Station, or any kernel that you like it. Now, once it's done, reboot your phone. Now at this point, if you check about your device and under the kernel section, you can see the name of the custom kernel here and also inside the app drawer, you may notice a Magisk manager has installed successfully. Keep in mind to tweak the system, you must need a root and that's why we have flashed a Magisk which handles super user request. Now in this case, if I run the uh, root checker application, as you can see, my device has rooted successfully. Now, according to the developer of this kernel, if you have wipe, delvic, and cache partitions in the TWRP, you must need to charge your phone whole night so that the Android runtime makes its optimizations in the background. After that, a no gravity kernel will unlock all of its tweaks and gives you incredible performance. By default, this custom kernel overclocks the GPU to run at higher clock speeds of up to 835 MHz and underclock to 180 MHz on idle conditions. If you want to see all these changes, use the CPU-Z application, it shows everything. You can also use any kernel manager to manually control anything. I recommend using a Franco kernel manager, which is a magnificent a kernel tweaker, it lets you tweak everything in the system. Inside this tool, you can select a CPU and GPU option. From here, you can overclock or underclock the CPU or GPU frequencies. 
In this case, I have manually enabled the two clusters of the CPU to run at higher clock speeds. At the same time, under the GPU control setting, I have set a GPU boost to high, then rebooting your phone will apply all of these changes. Now after that, your phone feels better smooth. You may notice it instantly. The Poco F1 hardware has pushed to the maximum. This way, all of the applications within the system will launch much quicker than usual. There is a zero lag you can expect to see. Now talking about gaming, oh boy. I have played PUBG at extreme HDR mode. I have noted a 0% lag, everything was super damn smooth, I would say the gaming experience will be taken to the next level and you will definitely be surprised without any doubt. Keep in mind, these overclock frequencies may be triggered only if it encounters any heavy games and of course you may feel a little bit of heat at the back but it's not that heavy. When the phone is in the idle mode, all of these frequencies will go to the minimum level, this way it preserves a battery life. Also, I have noticed the Franco kernel manager lets you install a nap time which is an aggressive dose mode will kick in right after the screen off and it disables all the sensors in the system so that it doesn't kick you out of any dose mode if you move around. When your phone screen turns on, everything goes back to normal, it's just like magic, providing you amazing idle battery life. Now other features that this kernel offers are a faster fingerprint boost, a maximum charge rate over USB 3.0, a Novatech touch firmware based on 10.3.7, a sound control support, Adreno support and more. For more information about this custom kernel, check the link in the description box down below. So lastly, I ran a benchmark apps like Geekbench 5 and 22, and these are the scores that I got on my device. Overall, I would say this custom kernel is a magnificent. It takes the performance on your Pocophone F1 to the peak level by maintaining the stunning battery life in ideal conditions. That's pretty much it. I hope you like this video. If you do, hit the thumbs up button down there. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching guys. This has been KSK Ryle. Peace out.